꼭 디자인이나 마케팅 쪽에서 일하시는 분이 아니더라도 웬만한 분들은 이 회사의 제품 한 번쯤은 써보셨을 겁니다. 바로 포토샵, 애프터 이펙트, 에크로벳 등으로 잘 알려진 회사 바로 어도비입니다. 이 사실 어도비는 온라인과 모바일 기반 시대로 변하면서 점차 좀 어려워질 것이다 이런 좀 우려가 많았었는데 하지만 이러한 변화에 발맞추기 위해 앞으로는 이 클라우드 사업을 강화하겠다고 밝힌 바도 있습니다. 한국을 사던 어도비의 시안타누 나라엔 대표를 김영교 기자가 만나봤습니다. 미스터 나이안, thank you so much for your time today. Is this your first time to visit Korea? Uh, it's a pleasure to be here. And no, I, I was visiting a few years ago, but you know, uh, one of the pleasurable parts of my job is meeting customers and employees all around the world. So what is the occasion for your visit this time? You know, once a quarter, we actually uh, make it a point to go visit uh, our customers all around the world. And so I do an Asian tour or I do a European tour. And I think this time, uh, you know, just given everything that's happening with our business in uh, South Korea, it was an important occasion for me to visit. For Korean consumers, Adobe has been widely known for its Photoshop and Reader programs. Where does it stand now? Well, you know, the creative part, you're right. Our mission as a company has always been to change the world through digital experiences. And as you know, uh, Adobe has had an impact on virtually every form of communication, magazines, newspapers, and products like Adobe Photoshop or Adobe Acrobat and Reader are household names. However, the company has expanded way beyond just the creative uh, products and the document products to completely delivering a new set of solutions uh, aimed at marketers who wish to you know, transform their companies to deal with the digital transformation that we all see. Elaborate on that solutions, is it, what is it for? You know, we have three growth opportunities. And the first opportunity is the creative cloud. We've completely transformed our desktop-based software licensing to a cloud-based offering for our customers. That's one growth opportunity. PDF and everything associated with documents and the move from paper to digital represents the second growth opportunity. But the third one is we see this movement where every single company, your presence is really represented by your website. It's represented by how personalized the experience you deliver for customers across a variety of devices because consumers demand uh, the relevant information on any device wherever they are. And so there's no company that's actually stepped up to delivering a comprehensive suite of products that enables these companies to create this web presence, to understand their marketing spend and the return of investment on that marketing spend, and to deliver a great multi-channel experience. Our solution is called the Adobe Marketing Cloud, and it enables people to do all of the marketing functions that have traditionally been done only analog in this new digital world. So what are the competitive advantages that Adobe Marketing Cloud has over other, uh, com other rival products? Well, I would say there are three advantages that we have. Uh, the first advantage that we have is we were the leader in the category. We created this digital marketing category. And I think we have the most integrated as well as comprehensive offering right now in the marketplace. Uh, we have seven solutions. They are integrated better than any other offering in the marketplace. And I would say the other real competitive advantage that we have is that we participate in that entire content and brand life cycle. People are using our creative tools to create the campaigns. People are using our document tools to deliver the kind of information that consumers want. And so if we can increase the velocity of the time when a marketing person has a brilliant idea, all the way to delivering that as a campaign on a smartphone, that's an advantage that no other company can provide today. Today, one of the buzzwords is big data. Is your solution can help uh, your clients to utilize this big data? Well, you know, we like to say we're actually the big data company for marketers. We process over 20 trillion transactions today. And so if you're going to a retail site, if you're going to an airline site, if you're going to go buy an automotive at a site, companies like 
GM and Ford and Renault and Nissan, as well as companies like Singapore Airlines, all of them, their transactions are happening online increasingly and on mobile devices. And we power that. And so while we may not be the front part of that website, we are actually collecting all that data on behalf of our customers. And we're not just collecting it, we're making it actionable. And we're demonstrating the insight that companies can get from that digital traffic to provide a competitive advantage. And so, you know, we are already the big data company for marketers and we were in this business far before it became fashionable to call yourselves a big data company. For computer users, for IT uh, experts, Adobe has always been there, right? So how do you attract or grab consumers' attention in a new way? Uh, that's a great question. You're right. I mean, we deliver more software than virtually any, company, any other company because of the ubiquity of the Adobe Reader and you know, other run times that we've had in the past. I think the Creative Cloud actually was a unique way for us with uh, attractive pricing to attract a new set of our customers to our platform. Of the 3.5 million subscribers that we got, we have said that we are attracting a significant number of customers who have never done business with us before because the younger generation is more familiar with subscription-based services, you know, Spotify or Pandora. So they're just more familiar with it. So I think our moving to the subscription-based model actually enabled us to attract new customers to the platform. The delivery of our mobile applications, you can now get Photoshop Mix and uh, other, other mobile applications, that's attracted a new set of our customers to our platform. And so I think we have to constantly think about where that next generation of creative professional or where that next generation of marketer is learning about products and technology and solutions and make sure that we address that with new innovative products. And I think we stepped up to that. Adobe has recently announced its partnership with Korea's Tail Worldwide. So through this partnership, how do you complement each other? Well, we're a technology company and they're a brand advertising and strategic company. And so if we can enable them with the technology that they need to enable their clients to deliver a campaign quickly, uh, I think it's a win-win. We actually have no overlap between us as businesses. And as a leader in this particular market, they're also finding that they're becoming technology advisors to companies who want to you know, create this digital presence. And so it's been a core part of our strategy to partner with companies in the digital agency space and through them enable our joint customers to migrate to this digital world. Thank you for sparing your time today. Thank you very much for having me. It's been a pleasure.